I'm Dr. Greg Ellis. A question has been popped up about the protein needs that we have. Now, obviously, the protein needs are going to vary depending on your lifestyle, whether you exercise a lot, what type of exercise you do, whether you're an athlete or a non-athlete. But the government recommended dietary allowance, of course, I don't trust the government, has always been set at about 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. 0.8 grams per kilogram, that's 2.2 pounds per day as that which is needed. The argument from that point on is that if athletes do need any more protein than that, it's not much, but they will get additional protein as a function of eating more food to provide the calorie intake they need to perform their act, physical activities. So that's how that pops up and works out. Now, this whole issue has been highly controversial for a long, long time about how much protein we should take. Is protein dangerous for your liver and kidneys? And these are some of the things I want to talk about and get a handle on and see what the research has taught us. So that's going to be the plan here. In part one, I'm just introducing this topic. In part two, I'll describe it in more detail. I used to buy protein powder by the 55 gallon pail. <laughs> I got it from the Lando Lakes Corporation. I go in upstate Pennsylvania and buy this 55 pound barrel of <laughs> calcium casinate because at one point in time I was consuming as many as 400 grams of protein a day. That's a lot of protein. It's an awful lot of protein. So let me come back in part two and get into more detail on this and see where that takes us. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.